what's up easy bakers happy vlogmas day one and for this taco tuesday we're gonna be making some shrimp nachos baby if you haven't already go ahead and follow me on instagram at daveny freeman so let's go ahead and be gang gang by hitting that subscribe button so let's jump into the video the first thing you want to start off is seasoning your shrimp i know some people don't like to season their shrimp or their meat I prefer to season my meat because I want my food to taste kind of like flavorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Obey. And these Obeys be having a darnest time, y'all, with me trying to get it out. I'm like, y'all, come on. Y'all trying to get that a little bit. We need some season now. Anywho, so we're gonna go ahead and season it with Obey, sweet pre um, paprika for seafood. I'm going to do some onion powder, garlic powder, and that's pretty much it. I didn't even add no pepper. I needed to add some pepper. Go ahead and add just some pepper too, Chad. So for this, just go ahead and season your shrimp however it is you want to season your shrimp. You can actually season your shrimp with some taco seasoning if that's your thing. So go ahead and season your shrimp. Then we're going to move on to the next steps. So once you get done seasoning your shrimp, you're gonna just go ahead and mix it around just to make sure that the seasoning is covering both sides of the shrimp. If you need to add more spices, go ahead and add it. I did not measure anything. I just lightly seasoned. Well, it wasn't nothing light about this seasoning, girl. I just seasoned to taste, basically. You feel me? And you may add a little more, whatever. It's your kitchen, it's your world. If you just want to use salt and pepper, that's your business. So go ahead and make sure all your shrimp is covered with some spices, girl. So this is how I know my, my shrimp is seasoning. You look at that, you see my hands, honey, it's seasoned enough. Now we're going to move on to our iron skillet. I already have my stove on a medium heat. And I'm going to add some olive oil to this pan. You do not really want to add any uh, thing, anything cold to an iron skillet, so that's why I'm using my um, kitchen cloth because, girl, this iron skillet, this shit is hot. So I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil to the pan, letting that heat up a little bit. Then, so then we're gonna add our shrimp to our pan. So I went ahead and added everything to my pan and I'm going to cook my shrimp for one to two minutes per side. I want to make sure you don't overcook your shrimp, girl. Don't overcook your shrimp because it's going to be chewy and that ain't going to be cute. Okay, it's not going to be yum yum sauce. So once my shrimp get as done as I want them to be, I'm going to remove the shrimp from the iron skillet because as we know an iron skillet heat keep on cooking honey so now i'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter to the pan and once this start to melt down i'm going to turn my heat off and I'm going to add uh, two garlic cloves minced up. If you don't like that much garlic, then you can definitely just use one clove or half a teaspoon of already minced garlic. And I'm going to put that in the pan as well. So like I just said, you guys, once the butter melts down, I'm going to turn my heat off. And I'm just using the residual heat from an iron skillet to continue to cook um, the butter and the garlic and stuff. So as you guys saw, I added a little bit of lime juice and I'm going to add some more lime juice just on top. And I'm going to use my wooden spatula to kind of deglaze the bottom of this pan so we can get all of that good flavor off the bottom. I got it all mixed up I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the shrimp from this hot skillet that's just a preference you don't have to remove it but that's just something I like to do all right you guys so now we're gonna go ahead and build our nachos I have took a pan and I sprayed that with some Pam I'm taking my chips of choice and I'm just going to make a single layer using those chips 
And I want to let you guys know that your oven should be preheated at 425 degrees. So go ahead and add your chips to that single layer and stick them in the oven for two to three minutes or until they're nice and toasted. So my, it has been three minutes and my chips are nice and toasted. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my cheese of choice. I will be using some mild cheddar cheese as well as some mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to do a little sprinkle sprinkle over these chips. So once I have my cheddar cheese on there, I'm going to add my shrimp as well. And you're just going to pop your, your shrimp on top of that cheese, however it is you want. I just want to make sure that I cover most of the cheese. And then I'm going to add some more cheese, boo-boo, on top of the shrimp. So once I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my oven on bro on high and I'm going to put my um, pan on the medium, on the middle rack until the cheese melt down. So as you guys can see, the cheese has melted down. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the toppings that I want. You can put you some pico de gallo on here, some guacamole, what's Ever you want girl I decided to just add a little bit of um, romaine lettuce with some tomatoes sour cream as well as some jalapenos and you eat and you enjoy it is so good this is actually what I'm eating right now you guys today and it is dinner and we love taco Tuesday so duh but Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully. Please, look, please, y'all. I'm going to do it. I'm Okay, day one, down, good. Okay, we can do this vlog. This. All right, y'all. Talk to you tomorrow. Not me hyping myself up, girl. Ooh, girl. All right, bye, y'all.